1097 and 1098. All right, let's just get straight into the episode. Honestly, I'm not trying to yap. I'm not trying to stick here because I'm trying to get into the meaty stuff, if you know what I mean. If you, <laughs> you probably know what I mean, so let's just go. We get in some more O'Hara stuff. I'm so I'm actually so like hyped for this because I honestly like Robbins was one of my favorite backstories, so and it made me feel so sad. This is an unbelievable hairstyle for, and forehead for Mr. Punk, Punk One. Actually. Why the fuck does he resemble Vegapunk? Like, like the Vegapunk. He's got that hair, he's got the big ass forehead, and he, the most importantly, he got the tongue. But who's fishing it out? The giants. You are not hi- Who are you hiding from? Bro, <laughs> you gotta tilt your head a little bit like fucking 180 degrees before you start hiding anything. The giants, bro. Oh, him! From, from Dress Rosa! I forgot what his name was, but fuck, like- Elbaf warrior type shit. What? Dragon. What? What's he doing there now, too? It. It is like Vegapunk. So okay. So Punk One has to be like an actual like robotic thing. Like like Vegapunk's like mind is in Punk One or some shit like that. This is a crazy duo. He survived! <gasps> please, please tell me. Please, please, for the love of God, tell me when they go to Elbaf. Fucking Robin is gonna reunite with Saul. That's gonna fuck. It. Oh my god, please, yo. Oh my god, please, bro. How? How the fuck did he survive? What? So what's going on? So wait. So who is Vegapunk, bro? Vegapunk's actually good then? Yo. Bro, we actually seen like dragon go. Are we finally going to get some dragon lore? Huh. I thought he knew. I thought he would not that. That what? This is fucking... I'm never not going to think this is insane. Nah, because he's speaking like I went there. Vegapunk 1 is definitely like a fail safe like for the Vegapunk in case the Vegapunk gets outed and whatever. And Punk 1 can like carry on that, that thought process and knowledge. Saul, bro. Saul. I know that's you. Exactly. Exactly. But how does the governor government not know any of this? Please. Dude, Robin's so smart that she's putting it together herself. Bro, I've seen her cry too much in the span of these last two episodes. I thought I was done with this. Oh, that's fucking beautiful. Ah. <laughs> Oh, that's sick. That's so hype, bro. Making my eyes a little watery, bro. Fuck, get out of here. Never mind. You just getting kidnapped once again. <laughs> once again. I don't know what else this guy has to show us. He's shown us so much already. Like, he's told us so much. Like, he's told us information that could get us killed, you know? Nah, nah. Vegapunk's head looks like that because he transferred his brain into like punk one or some shit like that a hundred that has to be it he's storing his brain somewhere <laughs> yeah what the fuck <laughs> that's what i'm trying to say what the hell is going on is he like is he like bluetoothing to his brain somewhere else that's just gr constantly growing <laughs> it's like a it is oh my god so what if you took his, the antenna off what would happen that's crazy so basically bro cut off his head 
because it was just growing too big. And he put it into his storage so he can start learning shit separately. But that wasn't enough for him. Bro had to make six separate bodies to start also individually learning separate experiences and then compiling them into one record, bro. He's gonna double that sh shit eventually. This is literally the Shadow Clone shit, like, from Naruto, bro. When he, like, was learning the Rasengan or whatever and started... <laughs> And you would use the Shadow Clones to accumulate that experience faster? This is literally the same thing. What the fuck? People are gonna get pissed at me for saying that, but I'm just... I'm not, I'm not like, saying what's better. I'm just saying it's similar. Oh, shit. What you gonna do? Damn! I don't think that matters. Yeah, it's, bro. Her father got turned. Come on. What does it do? Is it fucking attract bugs? <laughs> What the fuck? It's just a, a giant fucking bug zapper. That's all it is. <laughs> That's crazy. A crit stag beetle. What does failed mean? But it worked. What's the issue though? Nah, he knows there's an issue. There has to be an issue. What's the issue? <laughs> is that just the only issue? No way. That's what I thought. <laughs> when exactly was the 100 year void? Like how long ago was that? Because we're getting multiple years thrown at us. 900 years, 200 years. A lot of years going into it. Oh my God, Luchi. What? Oh, they caught on, they caught on. Of course they caught on. But Oh, shit, really? <laughs> Fucking love Luffy. Bro! I love how he just freely uses his abilities in, like, every way now. That, this robot is a badass, bro. That, this robot's tough as fuck. Look at this guy. What? <laughs> <laughs> Not the Luffy. I'm surprised it's taken like the world government so long to take action against Vegapunk. If Vegapunk has like been attaining and accumulating all this knowledge this entire time about like everything they're trying to hide. <laughs> oh, they're watching. Oh, damn. Oh. It doesn't look as sick though. I don't know. How the f- Okay, that- that- I find that hard to believe. So you try- Oh, I guess- I guess you're a perfectionist. If you're gonna replicate it, you need it to be straight down to, like, the wire. Okay, Sanji. <laughs> Kuma. Dude, what's his history with Kuma? What agreement did they have? Yo, yo, this man, I can see this man appearing in goddamn horror games. Like, just like those goofy ass horror games where they have a random entity chasing you. That thing, Vegapunk, is, is, is probably, it probably exists somewhere out there in the world. <laughs> like, look at this. This man's terrifying. If I saw this motherfucker in the dark, I'd be... I'd be losing that shit. <laughs> it looks like my fucking <laughs> sleep paralysis demons. What? He knows. He knows he's about to get packed up soon. By Luchi and the gang. Oh my god. He has a, he has a, he has a, he has a, is that a Kuma Seraphim? Was I tripping? He had like white hair. Oh, they locked in. They locked on a world government ship. That means he's prepared. He knows. Vegapunk knows that they're they're getting hunted down. There's no way that affects them. These Robo CBs. What, bro? What are in those can? What what's in that artillery? They were using her. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh, they ready to lock in, bro. Protect Robin at all costs. 
<laughs> Where are you going, Usopp? Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm fucking... Oh, I'm so invested. I actually love this arc so far. I'm fucking... I love this arc. They're even using the Seraphim? What? No way. Oh, he looks cold with that mask, bro. I can't lie. But I didn't... I, I thought Kuma was gone. Nah, I think this is his own will at this point. What's going on? There's no way he senses Bonnie. Like his... Like his, his like fatherly like intuition coming into play. There's no way. And he's gonna slap himself? What? And they have they have a Kuma Seraphim with them. What? Disappearances at Egghead? Damn, maybe they were just bad at their job. Didn't know how to navigate properly. Okay, that's kind of weird. But they se they seem like they know nothing about it, though. <laughs> Bro, she got such a crazy temper. It's pretty fucking sick, I must say. Dude, I love this goddamn animation style. It's so... It's so rambunctious and... and Bro, I don't know. I don't know how to, how to put into words. It's just so sick. I love it. It's so vibrant. It has so much personality, bro. Like, look at that! I, I feel like they can do so much with it, too. I'm so hyped for, like, actual fights. <laughs> Dude, it's... Look how, how goddamn artistic they're making this, yo. I, I feel like this is what it's supposed to be like if you're high on some shit, yo. Going through some crazy trip. And the music coupled with this, 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 like, abstract piece of, like, art and directing is... God. And Luffy is... <laughs> there's still nothing going through the, that head of his. And that thing's linked to something. Yeah, and that thing's linked to something he's not allowed to look at. That the world government is trying to, like, keep him away from. Holy shit. Oh! Oh, so, no, nah, he knows. Yeah, no, no, no. This was this was expected. This was leading up to that. This was expected. But but they we got to lock in now. We got to fucking lock in, bro. Oh, my God. Yo, I'm, I'm going to see you in the, the, the next one. I'm watching more. And for the month of April, thank you to Agnes, Lava Mob, Sandro, Leon Akafabi, and Tanner for being tier three subs on Patreon. And if you're trying to see more uncut early reactions we're already caught up on almost everything that you see on the channel and you might want to check out the patreon as well